Hey you guys, I'm glad you made it. I was at the store getting some last minute items for our lasagna fest that we're gonna have today. Um, I had forgot a few items, so I had to run down to the store and grab them. No worries, I just need to set up the kitchen, get ready for everything, and then we're gonna get started on making this yummy meal. But, you guys can't follow me in, so I need you to stay put just for a moment, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, looks like I got myself ready for you. So we're gonna get started. Hope you guys like my new little professional chef uniform. Just trying to get cute for you. So, so today with our lasagna, I'm gonna do a homemade sauce. Um, I also have our noodles out. I'm gonna mix it up and do ground beef and pork. So we'll have some sausage in there. And then I have some mixed cheese along with mozzarella cheese to put in there. So I'm gonna start out with one of my favorite things that I like to do with you guys is saute some vegetables. So I'm just gonna saute up a few onions that I cut up. So I'm just gonna chop my onions up here into a few little pieces, not too big, don't want them to be too overbearing. They also start to make me cry after a while. So I'm gonna try to cut these up before I end up with pink on the shop. Then here I have some whole mushrooms. They're whole mushroom heads. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them up into smaller pieces. Now over on the stove, I have some butter already melting and heating up for us so that we can stick our mushrooms and onions in there. So we'll just take this mix here and we'll go over to our butter that's mixing up here, heating up. Just toss that in there, turn it up a little bit gonna take a little salt and, salt and pepper base that I have and just sprinkle that around just to give it a little bit of flavor and then you're just gonna let that cook for a little bit all right now over here like I said I have a pound of ground beef and then I also have a pound of ground pork I'm gonna put one in each pan and let them cook. Now eventually these are gonna end up getting put, to, getting put together, but at this current time I'm not going to because I'm gonna use a different seasoning for my ground beef. For the ground beef, I'm gonna take my mix here of the Lari seasoning salt, garlic salt, with pepper along with lemon pepper and sprinkle that around. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sprinkle anything over the sausage because it already has a taste within itself. So you're just gonna let each one cook while you have that saute, and then we'll go ahead and look into getting our sauce started. All right, so here we have a sauce that we're gonna make. It's a homemade sauce, like I said. A lot of people like to use just a regular marinara. I personally like to make my own homemade. So you take a 28 ounce can of tomato sauce and a six ounce can of tomato paste. And then you take a mixture here that I have. It has oregano and basil, along with salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic salt and our lard seasoning salt base. And then you're just gonna wanna mix that in there. Now you're gonna wanna put the whole thing in there because it is pre-measured of one egg tablespoons teaspoons, etc. So I just have that going in there. Just gonna mix it up. Just gonna come over here. Looks like we've got our vegetables sauteing perfectly over here. We have our meats going. Just gonna wanna stir each one. Now after you kinda checked on your meat, mix it around, uh, put the browner pieces facing upward so that you can get your uncooked pieces starting to cook. We got our little pot over here heating up. We have our sauce mix. Just gonna wanna pour that into the pan. Now with the sauce mix, there's also recipes that you can use 
it um, calls for using diced tomatoes. I personally don't use the diced tomatoes because the tomatoes are too big when you're using it in your food. When you're making your lasagna, it's overbearing. Something that I like to do to Georgify it, as a special word that I use with you guys a lot, is I take some sugar. Now, it's an uncharted amount of sugar and how much you're gonna take, but you just take some sugar, according to your taste buds, and you're gonna want this to knock that bitter taste out. When you have your spaghetti, it tends to have a bitter taste. Sometimes you'll have a homemade spaghetti and it'll have a tart taste and it'll taste like a bitter tomato. When you add the sugar, it collaborates with your salt and it makes a really good taste and it's gonna give you that taste that's like going to, once again, Olive Garden or one of your favorite Italian restaurants. All right, so while we've got everything going over there, our sauce, our sausage, our ground beef, and our sauteed vegetable mix, we're gonna start our ricotta cheese mix that's gonna go in between everything. So what we're gonna do is we have about a third cup, uh, three-fourths cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese, three eggs, and then we have a salt and pepper mix that we're gonna take. The salt and pepper you're gonna wanna put in there because you just give it a little extra flavor, give it a little more taste, just a little bit more oomph. So, just gonna mix it up. Now I got the oven preheated to 400. Um, you can do it between 375, 400, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. I set mine a little bit higher, just so that it cooks faster. And when you cook it, it's gonna be about 30 to 45 minutes. Just gonna mix that up. You wanna make sure that you get everything mixed up, all the ricotta cheese, the eggs, the salt, the pepper, everything you're gonna want mixed up. We've got that done. Let's go ahead and check on our stuff here, our meats. Looks like our sausages are cooking pretty well. So we've got our ground beef over here. Now the vegetables look like they've sauteed pretty well, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take them and add them to the sauce. We'll transfer the sauce up here to the front. Right. Now I have a half a cup of water that I'm going to add. That's just gonna give it a little bit more of a soupier texture because most of it was predominantly a tomato sauce. So to knock out that tomato sauce taste, you add your water, your mushrooms, and your sauteed onions along with that butter that we put in there in our pan and it's gonna give it that marinara, marinara taste, okay? After you mix all your ingredients up there, you're just gonna let that sit on a medium temperature. And then just continue checking on your meat. And then as far as the pasta goes, some recipes you can get the pasta that um, you put on the stove first. I actually just picked up the oven ready pasta because it's easier to just home make your sauce, get your meats ready, and then just toss it over the um, pasta because that's an extra task that you probably don't want to do if you're trying to get a meal done within 20 minutes. Just gonna wanna go ahead and stick it into the uh, sauce here. Now once you've got both of the meats out, you're just gonna take that mixture, transfer it over to a bowl, here. Just gonna mix the mixture up. Now with a half a cup of water made it a little more soupy which is gonna be really good. All right so just give me a second we're gonna get started with putting everything on there and when we come back I'll start showing you how to properly layer your lasagna. Right, welcome back to Sin City Chef Boy. Waiting for you guys, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started with our mix. We've got our sausage and our ground beef with our homemade sauce. You're gonna wanna start by just scattering some at the bottom of your pan, or glass pan, whichever one you decide to use. 
It's just going to get some spread at the bottom of the pan there. Doesn't have to be perfect, just want to get some in there. We're going to start by taking our noodles. Just lay them out. Depending on how you lay them out, you can let one overlap. I'm gonna do that and put four. And then we're gonna take our ricotta cheese mix here. And then you're just gonna wanna generously take them out. It just distributed throughout each noodle. The ricotta cheese, if you don't put enough, you're gonna end up with extra. So I just like to make sure that I put some pretty thick coats because you never know, depending upon how deep your dish is, how much of the cheese you're going to get to use or noodles. After you've done that, you're going to just take some cheese. Now, most of the time, people just use strictly mozzarella cheese. I went on and put some sharp cheddar cheese in there just to add a different taste to it. Just gonna scatter that around. And then you'll go over it again and just start to scatter it with your meat. Now after you've done that, you can just take another layer of the noodles. I'm just going to lay it over it. And then we're going to cover it with cheese and then we'll final it with a little bit more sauce. Sprinkle in a little bit more cheese on there. Just want to make sure that we cover it up. Got enough sauce to cover our top layer of noodles. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and cover that up. After you got it covered up, we're going to put it in our preheated oven that, like I said, I have mine at 400. Um, some people do it on 375, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. We're going to sit it in there for about 45 minutes and let it cook. And then when we come back, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. Looks like you guys, once again, you guys beat me waiting for me for the food. Let's go ahead and check and see how it came out. Now we went on and left it in for about 45 minutes just to let it cook, let our noodles cook since they were oven ready. And it's looking pretty good. So we're going to just go ahead and get it cut up and onto a plate. So I do want to thank you guys for joining me today with Sensi the Chef Boy. This is our mid-season lasagna fest. I had a lot of fun with you guys. So I'm going to say cheers as I enjoy my bite of lasagna. Got some red wine next to me. Catch you next week.